welcome to the circle, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having <laughs> us. I, so I think, you know, these roundtable talks is an opportunity for me to bring some of my girlfriends onto the show, get some female energy up in here <laughs> and talk about some fun topics. So today I have my workout girls in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Danielle Dooley, Kimberly Salvino, and Jessica Renison. I have been a devotee of the bar method for, I think it's been about 10 years now. Well, probably More even than longer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when we stopped, the, the counter stopped. So now I'm not quite sure where I am, but it has been a long time. Yeah. Um, and all of these ladies are uh, instructors at the Bar Method. Um, and Danielle, you are the owner of the Newport Beach studio over on the riverside, right behind Ceci uh, Bon. Oh my God. Why? Really? You had to put it behind the croissant bakery? It's the reward. You work really hard for 60 minutes and you go get a chocolate croissant. There you go. The payoff. There you go. <laughs> it's so worth it. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm born and raised here in Newport Beach, Colonel Mar, California. Um, and, you know, raised here my whole life, went away for college and high school periodically, came home. Um, always went to Bar Method with my mom at your studio, Jessica, and finally got the nerve to ask you about teaching. And then I got the news you were closing. So I did cart before the horse. <laughs> so here we are three years later, two years later. <laughs> But and you have a husband. I have a husband, also born and raised here. Our families grew up together. So we have a fun family dynamic bopping around all of Southern California. <laughs> um, but it's been, it was a fun transition. And he's been the very supportive bar husband. Yeah. Though he doesn't come to class like yours did. Quite rude. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we'll put a, a little guilt into him. Come on in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, Jessica, you were the co-owner of the former bar studio yeah. that used to be in Crystal Cove by Javier's, which is where I got started. You were the instructor that originally got me addicted to the bar method. And um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm retired now from studio ownership. <laughs> <laughs> um, I married and have four and a half year old twins, two and a half year old daughter, who's the exact same age from when we closed the studio. So that always kind of Mark's ties out with yeah. me. Yeah. Um, owned the studio for 10 years, opened one two year or two years after we opened the first one, and then another one, and then did all the business things and yeah. closed. And so happy Danielle passed the baton and back teaching, and I love it. Yes. Yeah. We still get to see you and get good instructions. So I'm so happy you're back. Try my best. Yeah. Thank you. yeah it's yeah. fun. I hope you're sore after yesterday. Oh. <laughs> well, I've learned about the hypervolt now. Oh, yeah. So oh, I need one of those. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That really helps me. I can't even tell you. Good. So, Kimberly, you and I started around the same time. Yes. We were we were students next we to each other. Like a little yes. Girl, 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 And then when you decided to become an instructor, I'm like, oh, okay, that's great. She'll be really easy on us. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> um, I flock to your class, as does everybody. Um, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, let's see. I'm married, have grown kids, and found the bar method, like you did, about 10 years ago. And was looking, I was working retail, and I was like, I need to do something else. And I just, the bar method became my world. And I knew there were hiring and tried out and made it. And I haven't looked back. I've been doing it ever since. Well, you have such an incredible figure. What What were you doing before Bar Method? Oh, gosh, no. I still feel like Bar Method changed my physique completely. Mm -hmm. I was kind of a gym girl mm -hmm. runner. Mm -hmm. And now I do nothing but Bar Method. Mm -hmm. A few other things. You know, walking. Yeah. But this, this is it. Yeah. And I remember Jess and I always talking about it. It's like the perfect product. I will never stray away from yeah. that. It just changes your body for life. I mean, Absolutely. I think you would agree too. Yeah. No, I, when I first came to the bar method, I had just kind of turned 40 and I had never worked out in my, in my life. I had tried gyms, I had tried running and I tried, but I had nothing ever stuck with me. And, you know, I started looking in the mirror going, okay, seriously, girl, if you're going <laughs> to, it's about time. Like you can't put it off any longer. You've got to find something. But I would go into the gyms and I hated the sweat and mm -hmm. I hated the guys checking you out and having to wait for equipment. I could just not do it. So it was my, actually my girlfriend, Nancy Hoffman. I don't know if you remember Nancy. She, I do. She yeah. was, yeah, she went way back. Um, she was the original. And I remember you guys like going in that class going, 
<laughs> like I <laughs> found my happy yeah. place. I just love everything about it. Yeah. I love the camaraderie, the like it feels so warm and supportive. I love the carpet. I love that it's, you know, the, <laughs> music, yeah, the right? most popular like, thing we hear, the carpet. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because you know, yes. yeah. the padding underneath. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it's the best experience. Yes. No, I love everything about it. And I get compliments on my legs all the time. Like, people are always like, what do you do? And I'm like, well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> So that's why you guys are all here to like take credit for my legs. So that's, uh, we'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So what made you fall in love with it? Because um, you were started up in San Francisco. I started in San Francisco and I, it was the same thing. I was going, I'd been going to the gym forever and um, just hated it. It got to the point where I would go to the gym, pretend I worked out, like stayed there in my car, reading my <laughs> <laughs> Long enough so I can go home to my boyfriend and say that I worked out. And I just, I was over it. I didn't see results. It wasn't exciting. It just wasn't, um, it just wasn't doing it for me. And then I lived around the corner from Bar Method in the marina, the original flagship studio. Mm -hmm. I lived actually directly next door to Daily Method, which was and is a competitor, literally next door. And for whatever reason, was just drawn to Bar Method, like four blocks down the street. Mm -hmm. And um, took my first class was sore for a week Mm -hmm. and just became obsessed and started going all the time, saw like huge changes in my body. Quickly. I mean, you don't have to do it that long. I think probably by 10 classes, you're already like, oh yeah. Yeah. It's that targeted, that efficient, you know, that intense. Um, And then I just loved it so much. Like I would leave to go to my other job and be sad that I had to leave like, because I'd teach at like 6 and Mm 7am and leave and be like, I don't want to go to work. And I loved my other job, which was an interior interior design, but um, it just seemed like such a happy, fun, healthy place. And so trained to be a teacher. And then a year after that, um, they started franchising. They were licensing before that. So started looking into franchising, talked to a friend at the time who was also a teacher, Whitney, and she was looking for the same kind of thing. So we decided to partner and came down here and that was it I know I do too I do too so um that's kind of yeah what kind of started changed all of our lives Mm -hmm. yeah for sure definitely yeah it was fun so why did you want to become an instructor I just wanted other people to feel what I felt and it's just even to this day this morning I was like oh do I want to go teach you go in there and it's It just lights you up. Mm -hmm. And I've been doing this for almost, what, 10 years? Mm -hmm. And it's still, I have chill bumps. You see people, they're changed bodies Mm -hmm. and they're they're working so hard. Mm -hmm. And it just is so empowering. I just, I don't know. I just, I wanted that. And I still feel that. And I'll do it as long as I can. Yeah. For sure. And what I love about it is that even though I've been, doing the workout for 10 years, I'm, I'm constantly finding ways that I can fine tune, make it a little bit mm-hmm. better. Mm-hmm. Yes. You guys have been incorporating new moves and new things for us to do, which I always love something new. Although it's so funny because I always hate it the first time. I'm like, what is this? What are they doing now? That's so true. That's so true, Delphine. <laughs> oh. Do you have a favorite movie, Danielle? A favorite movement? Yeah. Um, you know, exercise. Uh, I mean, with oh gosh, I love all the new exercises. I know what that tilted like. seat. I knew you were going to say that. Burns your booty. That's yeah. the one that's really hard. Love that one. <laughs> Although we all were doing it wrong for quite a while, we finally got there. <laughs> well, it's not easy. It's it looks simple, but you really have to focus on so many little nuances yeah. to get it perfect. And you're not working the leg you think you're working, as from a client perspective. Mm-hmm. So, so from you guys confusing. that are listening, it's more like a squat. Yeah, I mean, that's it's, exactly right. Know, the bar yeah. method version Nobody of a squat. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody understands that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But it's a good one. It burns everything out. It well, it's hard to shake in it, but I shake while well, I shake like a leaf anyway. Me too. That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so by far, absolutely, my favorite one is back dancing. Mm-hmm. I, oh, love so back dancing. I love back dancing. And it's right at the end of the class. I'm always trying to like, I have to stay to the end of the class <laughs> because I've got to get my back dancing in. And the funny thing is I read an article by um, 
Kate Hudson that says that's the workout that she did to like get her butt in shape. So I'm like, if Kate Hudson, <laughs> I can do it, you know? And, and I absolutely love it. But I will say that I am very butt focused. I, I got it. I've got butt mania. I, I love to work on the booty and get the booty lift. Mm-hmm. And that mm-hmm. exercise well, so is so good big. for that. Yeah. Like, it's just such a big part of your body. Yeah. And it both helps you burn calories mm-hmm. as you strengthen it. It makes your body look even and fit and balanced. So it makes sense. Now, yeah. do you guys pick, because do you think booty mania is here? I mean, is this just a trend? Is it because of Kim Kardashian or something? Mm-hmm. Or do you guys think this is going to stay? And what are the best me- exercises for that? So. I mean, the kind of lifted seat has always been a hallmark of the bar method and bar method just celebrated its 20th anniversary. So I think it's kind of inherent in the product of the bar method yeah. for sure. But I think it's here to stay. Yeah. It looks, I'm I do great. too. Yeah. I love big butts. Yeah. yeah. And even today I was like, I love y'all's butts so much. <laughs> It's I mean, I like my right? big butt. Yeah, I you've love got that. a nice tush, Danielle. <laughs> you've got a nice tush. What's your favorite butt exercise? I too love back dancing. Yeah. It is one of my favorite parts of class. I yeah. think I say that every time I teach. I'm sure the clients are so sick of hearing me say that. Yeah. Um, but it is one of my favorite parts. And we should we should describe it because for people listening, they're like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're you're basically laying on your back. You keep your rib cage pressed down. Yeah. Your feet can be in different positions and you i mean for lack of a better term you're basically thrusting your hips yes, up yes. to the sky yes. and i do it at my house we have like a little gym area in our garage mm-hmm. and i open the garage door and they're building a house oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. i like that just like pressing away and there's these construction guys just looking at me every day like what is she, what doing? Is she doing is she just trying to turn us on yeah, her what? husband's one lucky guy <laughs> <laughs> we did that event right before everything closed down a couple of years back and Fashion Island for Women's oh, Day or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. And um, and Becky taught that class. And we were looking at kind of the crowd around us and we were like, let's just skip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're in Fashion Island on that big grass in front of Bloomingdale's. Yeah, and we were like, yeah. we're just going to yeah. go right on it. Well, yeah. <laughs> yes. Not that that's any better, but. Good <laughs> 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 point. <laughs> So speaking of which, uh, I read this article and I think I sent it to you guys um, about sex counts as exercise. And it's funny because I actually do feel like, you know, we all think about like, how's your body going to look? And, you know, you want to attribute a good, healthy body with looking sexy and looking like the best you can and feeling good in your bathing suit or in front of your honey. And um, so this article is saying that sex burns about five calories a minute which is four calories more per minute than watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> so why not just have sex, right? <laughs> While you're watching TV, right. you double up. Yeah. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> yes, which I'm sure a lot of that's going on. And it, it, it bumps up your heart rate and it also uses various muscles. So we can add that to our, to mm-hmm. our routine. Maybe make sure you keep your, your Fitbit on or something and uh, watch that. But... Let's see. What other what other things did you guys learn from the article? I wrote mine down. Oh, go ahead. Um, that it improves sleep, which as a mother of young children, I will take any yes. kind of sleep aid that I can get. Yes. Um, it said after orgasm, the hormone prolactin is released, which is responsible for the feelings of relaxation and sleepiness. Oh my gosh! Well, sign I, me up. I, 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 I'll <laughs> admit, I, I absolutely believe that. So yes. there might be more than three. <laughs> passing the buck <laughs> well on the heels of that it helps boost your immunity oh yeah which we all need at this point to yeah. fight off all these cra- crazy viruses and summer colds that everybody seems to be getting so absolutely more yeah. sex anything more bar method more sex to right. boost our immunity right now has got to be a positive thing and i think yeah. also your mental stability too mm-hmm. right yeah and then also on the heels of what you were saying about cardio. Yeah. It is cardio. So it spikes your heart rate. Absolutely. Helps um, against cardiovascular disease. Oh my gosh. And also raises your estrogen and testosterone. I wrote, yeah, your levels for estrogen and testosterone, which for my age is a very good thing. Yeah. No, that's (laughs) awesome. Really beneficial. And it's both for men and women. I mean, everybody benefits from it, right? Absolutely. Not just who's on top. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So as I think you ladies know, I am all about positivity. I always like to find ways to boost the, raise the energy, raise the collective consciousness and um, talk about things that have inspired us. And 
Um, I actually think I might have mentioned this before, but there was a saying that my dad always used to say to me that has really stuck with me. And I've like told my kids about it. And it says that a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. And I think about that when I'm exercising too, because it's talking about, don't just focus on what you like and what you're good at, but focus on the things that are not as good or not as, and so the exercises specifically that I do that I don't like as much, I think about that. I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. this is my weak link. I've got to strengthen my weak link. <laughs> <laughs> but it helps in life too. I mean, right? Just always focusing on what are the things, how can we improve? How can we be better people? Um, so my dad said, and I was like, oh God, dad, but I passed it on to my kids and I seem to call upon it a lot. Do you guys have any of those sayings that something that I've learned years ago and it relates to working out, but kind of speaks to anything that's a challenge or a hurdle is like, I very rarely regret working out. And especially right now for me in this season of my life, like I was working out this morning before I came and I was realizing this is the first time in my life I've really done it for myself. Like just, Mm -hmm. I need, I need the break. I need the mental, I don't know, switch off from other things. And I feel better in it relates back into, you know, the benefits of sex when you feel better Mm -hmm. about yourself and you want to, you know, spend time with your partner or whatever doing that, but just kind of challenging yourself to do the things that's most challenging Mm -hmm. for you, you know, just kind of doing that, getting it out of the way if needed, but, you know, and making your weakest link stronger. Like I now like arabesque. Mm. Took me 12 years. I like arabesque. Favorite. Favorite. That's That's it for me. So what was your saying now? Um, just, I always think of it as just like, do the hard thing first. Mm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like do, you will very rarely regret either doing that first or t- getting the workout. Yeah. And if you don't feel like going, it's so much easier to want to sit on the couch and not burn any calories so or true. whatever. But just if I have a long to-do list for the day, especially when I was running studios, I'd pick like the two or three things I didn't want to do the most yeah. and do those first. You know what? That is such great advice. My, um, my son, Eris is a, you know, self-proclaimed procrastinator. I, <laughs> read like how to prevent procrastination. And they said that start out the morning with the thing you least want to do that day. And once you knock it out, it just kind of keeps the ball rolling and you feel better about it all. So no, that's, that's actually a great piece of advice. What about you, Danielle? Gosh, I'm a wonderful procrastinator as well. Um, (laughs) Such a bad habit. Uh, But I like to say to my class, you know, you, you got your butt here. And if you come to class every day, great. But if you do the same thing every single day, that change you want isn't going to necessarily happen. So maybe take those heavier weights today. Take the challenge that I offer you. Try something different to kind of keep your evolution going. And that was something my parents always tried to instill in uh, my sister and I, and particularly on the tennis court as kids, which didn't always go very well with my dad and I, or then Joan and my sister and my dad. But um you know, if you do something every single day, but you do it the same way every single day and you're getting the same result, that isn't the result you want. Well, let's throw a curveball into it. So take your three pounds, take the challenge in arabesque, take whatever it is. Keep doing what you're doing. You're going to keep getting what you're getting. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. That's the same. There you go. (laughs) Switch That's a good one. Yeah. (laughs) I guess with that being said, I would say, um, what I love, and I tell my my girls this, to just treat every day like it's your last. Like, be the best person you oh, can be. Yeah. Do the best you can do, whatever that is. Yep. You don't have to be the top of the class, mm-hmm. you know, the best of the best, but do what is best for you. Yeah, I love that. Um, and just kind of like in class, do your best when you go to class mm-hmm. during that 45 minutes or one hour. And that takes stress off people because I think women is specific in particular, we put a lot of stress on ourselves, you know, we're, Mm -hmm. we're, we can be very hard on ourselves. So anything that gives people the permission to just kind of be themselves and not have that extra added stress has got to be a good thing for sure. So part of staying fit is obviously diet Mm -hmm. and what we eat. And I, even though I'm not a vegetarian, I'm obsessed with vegetables and I have been my whole life. I just love, and it's always surprising to me when people go, yeah, I don't really like them. I, I literally cannot date guys if they don't eat vegetables. <laughs> it's like, it's such a big part. And I'm always looking for the best salad. And it's, sometimes it's not that easy to find. You can go to places. I don't think Mastro's has a good salad on the menu. I've tried every single one of their salads. I, I, don't, I don't know. Mastro's, get your shit together with the salad. <laughs> um, but I do have a favorite salad, and it's the macho salad at uh, Bandera. So good. I'm Northeast. obsessed There's with that salad. There's a lot of followers for that right? salad. Yes. It's got tomatoes, avocado, dates, goat mm. cheese, the chicken. So yum, I actually yum, make that dressing. salad now at home so because I love it so much. But do you guys have a favorite salad? 
I'll go. Uh, also at Bandera or at Gulfstream, it's the uh, Emerald Kale Salad. Oh my gosh. You can I get chicken or not. I don't know why you went, but it's so <laughs> good. Um, it's just kale. It has this yummy peanut. Yeah. It's so simple. Dressing. It's really simple, but so good. And I would say too, I was going to say Jan's. Love Jan's. Yeah. Their salad's just clean and fresh and mm-hmm. not a lot of goop. It's super healthy. Is it just yeah. one salad that you like there? Or I like one? just the Jan's classic. The Jan's classic. I don't okay. know about you, so Jessica. Okay. But I like I, the Jan's classic. And you can add, if you want a little something, something, you can add some chicken salad if you're wanting that little yeah. kind of homey. So what is in a Jan's salad? Avocado. Well, you can, I usually add avocado, tomato, sprouts, iceberg lettuce. So it's a really simple kind of a, just, just a green like salad. Yeah. Shredded carrots. Yeah, I get shredded tuna salad. Ooh, it's really good. And it's... their ranch dressing is actually really good. Oh, I'm see, like I just go for the balsamic. Yeah. Yeah. Just like super too. simple, clean. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, that. when you want your loaded salad, that's when you go to, for a Hillstone salad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I have quite... never once been to Jan's. I'm, 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 it's really, okay. I'm ashamed to admit. It's so good. So, it's so, good. so good. fresh. Yeah. Super fresh. Yeah. The portions are huge. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited right now. Yeah. Yeah. What's your fave? So my rogue favorite is the avocado quinoa salad from Mendocino Farms. Mm. It's spicy. It's crunchy. There's this like, um, yeah, they like fry up this like quinoa something bits in it. Mm. It, comes it is really good. It's she really turned me good. on to it. Yeah. So it's like a, that's like a meal salad. The quinoa is probably is filling. Quinoa is filling. Yeah. You can get chicken on it, which is great. It um, has like a whole bunch of avocado on it, corn, beans, tomatoes. Oh, oh that's good. It filling. has this like yeah. chipotle dressing. I only eat like half at a time. Mm-hmm. It's wonderful. Yeah. It's good. I know there's one over by UCI. Yep. And that UCI center. Where else is the Mendocino? 17th Farms? Street. Oh, oh, mm-hmm. oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Okay. That's not too far. No. And, you know, you guys reminded me, the other salad that I was like literally obsessed with for years was at the Gypsy Den at the lab. Oh, Have you guys no. been to the Gypsy Den? Yeah. They have a a, um, a tuna salad there mm. that, that you, I put the Greek dressing on it. Oh, my God. I was literally, <laughs> I was like eating it like three times a week for a while. I was I'll have to I, try that. Yeah. I love Gypsy Den. I just, they do have so many good food. I've never been food. there. They have one food. Well. Can't go wrong with true food. Kale yeah. with true. Mm-hmm. salmon or yeah. tofu. Yeah. Uh, true, yeah. Their, their kale salad is what I duplicated i have a famous story and actually david wilhelm's coming on my show very soon but uh <laughs> david and his wife at the time paula came over for dinner and i was and i was like oh, i'm having david wilhelm for dinner <laughs> <laughs> you know and, and panicking and so i made the kale salad because you can make it in advance and it's kind of the kale salad that true food makes i actually got it from martha stewart but it's mm. almost identical it's lemon is what breaks it down mm. and do you know that Dave the next day asked for my kale salad recipe? So everybody always comments on the favorites parts of the show. Everybody loves the favorites. And I people are always asking, oh, I tried that thing you guys talked about. So <laughs> we're going to continue with the ball rolling and talk about all of our favorite stuff. And because we're in a workout theme today, let's talk about some workout theme things. Um, I discovered recently Carbon 38, the Mm. online workout where I'm obsessed, you guys. It's really sad because it's not cheap. Mm. Um, (laughs) I finally (laughs) had to stop it. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I finally had to unsubscribe from the list. I'm like, stop telling me every day because I can't handle it. But I got into the aloe and I love Carbon 38 makes some really good stuff too. And it's actually maybe slightly more economical, but I love the styling of aloe. I, I started out with Lulu, but I don't know. I feel like they keep making the same things over and over. Yeah. So Al is kind of in my new go-to thing and they make such pretty color stuff, but I don't know. Do you have a favorite Kimberly? I'm sorry. I'm a go-to Lulu. Are you? I, I just, the Align pant, I can't yeah. veer from it. Yeah. They're like butter. I, I try other things and I just, they fit. Yeah. They're, Great. All-time now, favorite. is that the softer ones? Yeah. Because we mm-hmm. do a lot with balls between our legs. <laughs> so that's stuff. the that's problem. <laughs> that's the only problem. The pit makes for the They're not the super slippery. slippery, though. I don't... It's still kind of hard to get it's that good grip. It's not a good grip. Yeah. 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 But they're... Oh, they're... I, I wear them all day, basically. Yeah. Well, you oh, always look sure. adorable. So I'm sure for sure. I that love them. That's love a really them. good one. What about you, Danielle? Do you have a fave? I love Lulu You always look so cute, too. You always have your little matchy stuff. Thank you. So I... Right, uh, I don't know, it was a couple years ago, I, on a whim, ordered from Fabletics. Mm. And just was like, mm. oh, who knows? You know, who knows what the quality is going to be like? They look great. Oh, I love it. Ooh, and yeah. so that's all my matchy, matchy sets. <laughs> um, but I love them and I love Beach Right. It's super fun, reasonable, they're a local too, right? Company. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, and Fabletics just went into Fashion Island. Oh, did they? Yeah. Really? I don't know if it's open yet, but don't I just see the sign. <laughs> and it's a big store, too. Yeah. It took over where um, Express used to be, oh, across nice. from yeah, Victoria's yeah. Secret. Yeah. Yeah. So that's going like to be their, a big spot. I think their stuff is fun. They release things every month. And it's, a. I mean, from a price point standpoint, it doesn't totally break the bank. Quite mm-hmm. like Carbon 38. Right, right. I love Carbon 38. Yeah. But so yeah. it's a little bit more economical. More economical. I think the quality is really nice. Do they have loungewear as well? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cute. They just launched a collection. Wow, <laughs> yeah. Well, we're all into loungewear. We spend a lot more time home these days. <laughs> What's your fave? Athleta's got my attention Oh, right now. yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which I was kind of surprised about because I've always found it just a little, like, ho-hum. But mm. they have these sports bras right now that are, like, the longer. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Um, the super cute back. I was showing you in the studio yep. last week. So comfy. So cute. And their material is so soft. Yeah, they have some mm-hmm. soft stuff too. Yeah, like, like really. And I have some of their um, bike shorts, which I don't wear out of the house. <laughs> I, <don't laughs> and I, like, don't <laughs> I go straight to the Peloton and then get back on. <laughs> Even Graham is like, but they're so soft. They're so comfortable. And yeah, I'm really like, oh their my stuff gosh, right I love that too. Yeah. I actually have quite a few things. I wore a sweater yesterday from Athletic. Yeah. Athleta. Um, and they have, I mean, cause they do other stuff than mm-hmm. just uh, workout wear. I mean, they yeah. have some really nice, um, nice things. So yeah, I'm glad you reminded me Great price that. point too. Yeah. 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 And, and then we pre- get a discount. I mean, if you're, yeah, oh, really? yeah. 20% oh, nice. Yeah. No, they expired a couple days ago. We have a client, a brand new client who is a manager at, at Athleta. Oh, good. And you Ooh. just walk in and say you teach and yeah. it's really yes. easy. Yeah. Well, I always have to have a water bottle in class because you guys are so good at reminding me to breathe. (laughs) Um, And it's really just about making your mouth wet, right? But if I don't, I literally have to get up and leave class and go get some water. So um, I finally have found a bottle that I'm obsessed with. Mm, I brought it close by. This is a Lulu bottle. Mm. But I'll tell you why it's my favorite because the lid is attached to it. I don't like when you have to unscrew it. And then what do you do with the lid? You know, it had this really weird like compartments. I don't know if you're supposed to keep like pills or something. (laughs) So I just like took those lids off because they were always like flapping up. But I swear to gosh, I'm like, I'm obsessed with this bottle. Yeah. Yeah, And it's super easy. And so that's my little water bottle. Well, nothing can be. (laughs) Yes, yeah, right here. <laughs> oh, yay! <Yes. laughs> and those, those are the, Yetis. Yep, uh-huh. Yetis, the yeah. best. Yeah. Cold or hot, but yeah. this is, I got it as a gift from my boss recently, <laughs> and I have it. It doesn't leave my side. I am like 100% obsessed. And that also doesn't had. have the top that you have to right. take off. You can still and I was using it. because I lost my other ones, and I love how you can just slide it. But it's also really nice to have the logo. It works for hot and cold. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, is this not one of the things that you can fit a whole bottle of wine in? <gasps> have you seen that? Uh, yes. Yeah. I have seen I that. Know. I bet I you can. Oh, no, that's yeah. nice for picnic. I have a hydro yeah. flask that has yeah. a whole, whole bottle of wine. But that's my go-to is my hydro flask. Mm. And it has the lid attached where you just like flip up the okay. straw thing. Yeah. Um, but that's my, my coffee cup. Yeah. yeah. We always, all of us instructors carry these. Yes. yes, yes. So. We will, and all of us students wonder what's in them. Good point, Dolphin. We're like, hmm. She seems awful bubbly at 8 a.m. Maybe you should have kept the compartments that's for like, yeah. Maybe you broke it afterwards. No, that's so true. Okay. And speaking of the workout uh, theme, I have a new favorite deodorant and it's funny because my mom used to tell me about this deodorant and I was like, okay, mom, you know, she's always got something she's telling me about. But when I finally tried it, I'm like, my mom was right. (laughs) So it's called Native. And what I love about it is because, you know, now we have to be concerned about getting too much aluminum or parabens. This is aluminum and paraben free. I, what I didn't know is it's like 31 flavors. They have so many different <laughs> oh, smells. Totally. This one is like kind of a coconut smell, which I like, but they have everything from like jasmine mm-hmm. and they have like mixtures like latte and all this kind of stuff. Uh-huh. Really cool stuff. Um, and now they're coming out with a new um, packaging that's actually going to be wood. It looks like a cylinder oh, wood thing wow. so that we it's going to be completely biodegradable. So that's you got to love a company that's yeah. thinking about us and the environment. So, yeah. Native Where is do you buy thing. it? Whole Foods? Or? I buy it on Amazon. Oh, I buy okay. everything on Amazon. Yeah. But they also have a website. <laughs> and I'm sure there's other Target places has around. Yeah, oh, okay. I'm sure there's mm-hmm. other places that I have it. body wash, too, that we use. It's great. Oh, really? Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. And I hear that they have a sunscreen, too, recently. And I haven't Ooh. tried. 
tried that one yet. I'll so that. right, yeah, totally. That sunscreen has lots of chemicals that we're supposed yeah. to avoid as well. So that's right. Anything that's going to be good for us is good. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys have a fave? Dove. Dove. Always. Oh, I like that one too. I've used like the stick forever, and then they released the spray. Which I love. Can we get the spray in the studio? I know. Sorry, I got to buy more. We <laughs> need the spray. <laughs> Do you know what? It's hard to find. Is it really? Right now, I don't know what's going on the past the like six yeah. months. It's hard to find. Maybe. Wow. Like I can't even get it in the scent. I normally get it in some kind of interesting. But it's sort huh. of. Yes, it is coming. As okay. Soon as I can find it. Yeah. One. One. Yeah. Hair ties too, please. <laughs> <laughs> the ninja Jessica agree. always had hair ties. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. I have them. I just can't find. them. Um, yeah. So you'd order more. <laughs> yeah, deodorant's interesting. I mean, I've tried all different ones and I'm always back to secret, the yeah. old I tried and true because years too. I you know, Same. I don't like the wetness that you get from yeah. that, but it's better to go ahead and start with the yeah. and there's some good ones. Like the native one's good. I have one called Pretty Frank, which Ooh. I love. You can get it at Whole Foods. I think I got mine on their website. Mm-hmm. Mine's a charcoal one. Mm. So it helps to like detox. Ooh. So you like do it for a couple weeks and it can be a little gross. But then your, your body gets kind of reset. Mm. So it's taken out all the other stuff that some of the other ones put in and oh I really God. like it. Oh, so, that's yeah. what I need. Right. I might have some competition to my name. <laughs> <laughs> well, good you need advice. Back, back and forth because okay. like that one smells good. Yeah. But the like wetness protection isn't great. So you yeah. can kind of, depending mm-hmm. on what you're doing. Yeah. You know, pretty frank. Yeah. Okay. Pretty frank. Love it. All right, girls. Well, you have been so fun to have mm-hmm. around. Anybody else have any announcements, anything coming up, Danielle, at the studio? We're running a promo through beginning of November. Uh, it's our two-week unlimited trial for $39. Oh, my that's awesome. gosh. That's a smoking yeah. deal. So pop on over. Check us out. Awesome. And I get love a sandwich. that. Yay. And get a sandwich and then get your chocolate croissant. Yeah. <laughs> and use all the fun products in the studio. Yep. Yes. Yeah. All the dry bar yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Dry bar, drunk <laughs> elephant. It's all there. It's all good. <laughs> and you guys are redoing the website. We are. So we're moving off of our booking platform onto a new one, which we're very excited which, about. Which, by the way, I thought you guys had the best booking platform ever. So I'm like, why are they oh, choosing no, just that? Just wait. The new one's going to be even better really? and a lot more fun, at least for us on the back end of things. And when is um, that launch? So we will transition October 26th. We got a little pushback from the last group okay. going. But it will be good. Awesome. It will be a process. Well, anybody <laughs> looking to, to look for classes can now go to thebarmethod.com, right? And yes. pick Newport Beach, Newport Beach and sign up. We'll pop right there, buy classes, you can check out the schedule. Danielle, myself, Kimberly, Jessica, we're all on there with some other friendly faces. Yeah, and it makes it easy because it just populates it right into your calendar, which I love mm-hmm. and Sick. reminds me. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Well, thanks for coming, girl. Thanks for, thanks for having awesome. us. Yeah. It's nice and for I'll us see to get you together. shaking in class tomorrow. All right. Yes. Can't wait. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you for listening to this episode of Delphine Circle. If you enjoyed the episode, please check out our last two. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Delphine. Welcome to my circle.